Did you know the average puffy cloud weighs over 1 million pounds? That's 40 buses, 3 blue whales, or 25 million dollars in quarters. Now how does something so massive stay drifting in the sky without an engine or wings? Well, we have to think of clouds not as giant monstrosities in the air, but as billions of tiny water particles. The average diameter of one of these water particles is about one micron across. That is 0 0.001 millimeters. That's really small. And since these particles are so small, the effect of gravity is basically negligible. The heat from the sun evaporates water on the ground, pulls it into the air, and then the rising air from the earth actually floats the particles up into the sky where they kind of accumulate together and form what we see as clouds. Rain clouds actually weigh more than regular white clouds. This is because they're filled with more, well, rain. As more and more water fills up the clouds, they start blocking out the light from the sun, and that's why they appear more gray and make the rest of the earth dark. The tiny particles in the clouds start bumping into each other and forming bigger and bigger particles until they eventually get to the size of a water droplet. These droplets form and they become too heavy for the air to hold, and they eventually fall to earth is what we call precipitation. But how high can clouds float? Well, that depends on the amount of water vapor, the temperatures of the air, the wind, and the interplay of other air masses. The average puffy cloud, called a cumulus cloud, floats about one mile above the surface of the Earth. Stratus clouds, which are basically giant blankets that are laying across the sky, float about one mile as well. The light, feather-like wispy clouds in the sky, called cirrus clouds, float around three and a half miles up. The highest clouds, noctilucent clouds, can float up to 53 miles in the sky. Using the information of cloud height, you can actually calculate how far away a cloud or a thunderstorm is. If you look up 45 degrees from the horizon, you will make a 45-45-90 right triangle. The two legs of this triangle are the same, so if you're looking at a cloud that's 45 degrees away from you, Essentially, you're looking at a cloud that is the same distance away as it is up. So if you're looking at a cumulus cloud that's 45 degrees up, and you know it's one mile above the surface of the Earth, you can conclude that it's actually one mile away from you. Given that most thunderstorms move between 30 and 40 miles per hour, you can walk outside before a storm, gauge how far away the storm is, and you can actually tell how long until it'll start raining. If the thunderstorm is one mile away, moving 35 miles per hour towards you, you can gauge that it'll take about two minutes before it gets overhead. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe for next week's video. And if you have any more questions, just drop them in the comment section and I'll see if I can answer them. I'll see you guys next week.